previous caller said, the last caller before I called now, he said that these people are too smart in organizing counter protest. And I love your response. No, they're not smart. They're, not. they're just being stupid and selfish. Yes. Because well, they believe that. Is it taking advantage of yeah. the perished? Exactly. And it works well, e exactly. Know? Exactly. And the one thing you, you one thing about counter protest is that the number of people who are counter protesting are not even up to 10% of the real protesters. They can never be. Because they are, because, they can be like yes, because, the because they were paid, they were paid to do the protest, to, to go and, and disrupt it. And so if you look at the NSAS protest, um, when the whole youth trooped out in their numbers, you could see, you could see the crowd was, you know, uncontrollable as compared to the few talks they were carrying around in their Prado SUVs to disrupt the whole thing. So um, that for me, that is not smartness. That is just being stupidity and trying to confront uh, chaos and yeah, anger with an another anger. An act of cowardice. Yeah, yeah exactly. so there is, there, is, there is nothing smart about that. Um, my, uh, a quick one, because I now have um, a few minutes to uh, make my point. So over the previous uh, days you've been uh, making your brokers, I actually uh, wrote down a few couple of points I just want to touch. Not not particularly from this night's um, presentation, but from other previous ones. So I'll just be brief. Um, you see, you 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 asked sometime about T. T. D. Lloyd. You you mess, uh, mentioned about him him being a local government chairman, and then you asked, was he not formally a House of uh, Assembly member? And then to, I, I'll answer your question with another question: uh, What was Wiki's position before he became governor of River State? Uh, before that, right? He was yeah. a minister, but before of, that, he was a local government chairman. Good. So, from minister, from serving as a minister, he served. He came back to River State and served us um, as a governor, and then he's back to Abuja now as a minister. Is it not it? Mm. So that should answer your question about Che Deloid. Uh these people don't really have any um. They can't leave. They don't have they can, outside outside politics. For them, politics is a full time job, and they can't um live off uh they can't afford to live off the public fund till the day they die. They always want to be around the corridor of power, and um you know they are used to that free uh huge sums of money. They are used to that ex you know expensive lifestyle of embezzlement and all that. So for them, they cannot live outside politics. Yeah, I mean, it's not like the UK here or America where you can see a politician retire successfully and go to his country home and, you know, be an elder sister. So that answers the question. So these guys are chiefs, and that is why things have not really been going on because... I would think, right, uh, Ferdinand, you see, I yeah. would think that if somebody became House of Assembly, right, the promotion they would get should be maybe House of Rep, even in their own, uh, in their caucus, where they are sharing positions, right? it, it, So I exactly. wasn't expecting local government chairman at all. It, I mean, you know, it's like this, right? If they send a poster to House of Assembly, right? And they send him there. Now, yeah. they put up another poster as local government chairman. Like, I'm like, why would it yeah. happen anyway? Yeah, if for them, it's just... Can I just get anywhere so I can be getting money? Because if you look at if you if you look at Wiki for an instance, um he 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 was the governor of River State. I mean, the money coming into that office is much more, more than what he's seen as a minister. You understand me? So he shouldn't even be the minister of FCT. What is FCT? But he just has to be in FCT and then uh, create an office for himself. What I mean, an office this time around is a way of embezzling money through budget uh budget party seen all of that he himself has submitted apart from 2024 budget to pk has submitted yeah. and got an I, over 198 billion yes and and that is like um if you combine like um it's about the allocation for for seven states you get it and uh, th that is how these people run um secondly i i like to talk about um the issue of militancy in the niger delta Please. You see, you see those guys. You see that guy that was making that video Asabuja. about, yeah, yeah. Uh, some people were saying he's making mouth. No, he's not, yeah, because I, you just because I, I said my own that nobody yeah, should think they are joking. Or all yeah, these things we are seeing in the ad of uh, Boko Haram. Uh, Fulani, no, they those, don't reach with Bo Boko guys, Haram. You know. Have you had Have you heard of Fulani headsmen killing people in River State before? Well, I haven't. Okay, why? If Fulani men should find their way into River State, 
I promise you, they will make it out alive. Mm. They will make, they, like the River State militants, they don't need to call on the Nigerian army to come and help them. They will personally take care of them themselves. You see, back then when I was in Nigeria, I'm I'm so I'm so um grateful that I even got out of that contraption because it changed my way of thinking and everything. Back then when I was in Nigeria, do you know that there are some camps, you see boys with sophisticated weapons, like I never even knew it was my cousin who told me I should come during that, uh, that was around 2009, 2010. Yeah, that they are trying, yes, that they are looking for yeah, people to put their mad, name in the list. Mad, mad period in the yeah, area, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, 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 hmm. exactly. My, if you go inside the creek and see the kind of ammunition these guys are having, and most of them are even hungry, carrying expensive guns, watching hundreds and millions of men. Hey they are hungry. They'll be asking you, like, begging you, like, ah, Baba, just help us now. Give us some money for a drink and smoke. Now. I'll be, you'll be looking at somebody with an LUMG. You I'm know what an about, LUMG is? talking about sophisticated weapons that will be like somebody, uh, as much somebody as with like an, 50 somebody grand, $100,000. Like, yeah. anti-tank. The kind of somebody, weapon will be shoot. We will enter tank. Uh, exactly. They enter, like say it, uh, you know, hot knife. They enter butter. Exactly. Where possibly we say you they carry a more vehicle. Go face it, militants it, of Niger Delta. You they joke. It, exactly. Like you see somebody with sophisticated weapons who is so no broke. No food, no money, no real thing. No food, no money. Like, and I'll be imagining how can somebody have an LMG land machine gun, AK forty seven sophisticated weapons like, and the person is taxing you for one thousand, two thousand, five thousand. Can you, do you imagine what the, the, these people created? Like, the, the next thing for that person to do is to use, the next person that comes, the next thing that comes to the person's mind is to use that gun to try to, like, make a source of living. And the, even the reason why there is no peace, he says they want peace. They are the, they are the reason where there is no peace in every state in Nigeria because characters like that are in every state. Yes, and like you said, they always work hand in hand with the politicians. So this issue of insecurity and all that, when the politicians want to, you know, um, when they want to kind of like track this insecurity and, you know, sort it out, they know how to start and finish when it I off. I was in Nigeria, uh, Ferdinand, right? And yeah. I was, uh, I was uh, you know, a bit of uh, a writer. You know, I mean, I, I'm like a strategist. Yeah. And I will sit down. And I'll plot for them. So I was still part of uh, their politics at home then, right? So we're plotting. I won't give names about some of the people who come from my local community area will know who I am talking mm. about, right? But he's a very cool guy, very, very cool guy. Yeah. So, yeah. So that... I'm gonna know, I'm gonna know. So this okay. guy's election was coming, and guess what? That what? was when I knew that the politicians, right? Yeah, they are not good people. No matter no, if you have a brother or you have a family member who is a politician in Nigeria, if you get to know what they are getting involved in, you know they are not good people. No, they are not good. However, they are not. election was going to happen like uh, in another one or two months. So this is my man. And we call it uh, calling all the houses. I don't know. You are from River State. You probably have seen something like that too or somehow. Yeah. 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 You have to call all of them. You see, to me, courts don't themselves you know all of these cultists okay uh yeah uh, yeah uh, 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 bagas uh, this or that right yeah um, all of them came together when politicians called them and said there's a job we we'll yeah. are bringing all the houses together <laughs> but they were drinking i did yeah i did yeah yeah oh, no, number three. Uh, yeah this, uh, that. all of them did that hotel in the jabu yeah. They yes. all came, like about uh, 200 of them, 200 yeah. artists, in the same hotel, we shot the yeah. gates. Yeah. That, they, and they had are, a meeting well, with them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They, 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 they get closer to the governors. In fact, these politicians, uh, they actually um, decide who will be the SUG president I in some universities. Message, yeah? Quickly, Ferdinand. Yeah. The message wasn't about how to mobilize people to vote. We were talking about the other people. Because they themselves are also calling some groups too. Mm -hmm. Right? So Imagine that. Can you help us and make sure that that group, you know, but I say, honorable, you know, they worry yourself. Now our boys go there. We divide ourselves. You be our man. And true, true. 
it was their man. Okay. Yes. The other yeah. guy needed them, so they divided themselves into two. Um, yeah. Courtes, all the courtes where they shoot and kill themselves. Yeah. They agreed to work together. Exactly. So somebody elected. Exactly. That. Exactly. That's that's how this politics. My that's why I I weep for Nigeria. That's how bad things have gotten. So the issue of criminality cannot actually be um eradicated in Nigeria. It's not possible. The only solution is just to bring down the entire system. Like if it is possible, my bring you know a kind of like a foreign body and wipe the entire system of security agencies in Nigeria. I'm telling you this too because sometimes when I think about it, like to an extent, like the whole thing is like a boomerang, like running around in circles. Some of them, right? Uh, I told you something about the courtes now, right? Guess yeah. What? In that what? compound, right? We had the police, we had uh, the DSS guiding our man, uh, we had uh, the uh, the army. Can you imagine that? Like, we, are, we shall have some of these security guys around with their guns. And, and they will also work with those courses. So they also work with those courses. Like I was like, man, exactly, exactly. You can't so, have place. No, it's you can't. You can't. You, you can't. I've I've been around during election period, and I've seen how these people collaborate just for one candidate. Yeah. You know, it's it's not possible. Uh, and and that's why when you talk about uh, when they talk about uh, insecurity and all that insecurity, the politicians created it, yes. and they themselves alone. Can end it. You get it, and that that brings me uh, to, to to my to my final uh, point. Um, uh, the last time I was listening to your broadcast, um, you were doing the reading on, on white malice. Uh, you talked about um, I think you read some pages, some paragraphs where um, there was established a view, a voice of Africa, kind of like a radio Ghana that was broadcasted um, in Accra in different languages. Remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and my good, that's a very powerful tool. You know, that's what you're doing right now. Um, you, you see why when Namdekano started IPOB, the first thing he did was to establish Radio Biafra. This is not Radio Ghana, but like Radio Biafra. So with Radio Biafra, he was able to like convey his messages, his ideas and hope, you know, his, uh, his uh, solutions to people, you know. And people started listening to Radio Biafra and even tuned into Radio Biafra as a source of um, genuine information, unlike the uh, infiltrated information uh, you know we get from Nigerian media, like uh, NTA channels and all that. So people started um, listening to Namdekan more than the Nigerian media, and that actually opened their mind. And you see, so this struggle for Biafra is an ideology that can never die. Even if Namdekan is dead today, I promise you, one one another person will just pick it up yeah. because. Mm -hmm. Because it's an idea that has been implanted into the arm. And you can kill human beings, but you can't kill an idea because it passes from people to people. So once the people have started yelling for it, trust me, there is nothing um, anybody can do. It must surely come. Holding the name the canoe will only make the matter worse. You know? So what you're doing now is like what Nam the Khan is doing, you know, passing a message of uh, awareness and opening people's mind, you know, consciously and subconsciously, because uh, for instance, now if 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 you are, if you were to be arrested in Nigeria, trust me, uh, they will hold you down the same way they held on Namdekan. Most people are asking, why is Namdekan not released this and that? They've released other terrorists. Other terrorists did not run a radio station that was opening people's mind. You know, politicians get so scared when you expose them and tell people the real truth of how uh, uh, the society is being run and governed, and telling them the uh, way to save them, like the way forward. You know, giving them ideas that will actually help them to get out of the mess. So when you bring knowledge to them, you know, to, to the masses like that, you know, like one senator said that yeah. it is very dangerous exposing how much they are making in the Senate. Mode. So when the, the masses actually get knowledge of what is actually going on in government, the politicians are so scared. The politicians are very scared, though. Yeah. They are very scared people. That's, that's why, why they say people like us are trying to cause problems in Nigeria. Exactly. So what is the that's why by telling the people how these criminals <laughs> are running things. So if it's yeah. no better, then that means we are putting the life of the, these criminals in danger. But why exactly. Not? They put all our lives in danger already. Is, anyway. is, exactly. So that's why they go around in bulletproof cars and all that. Things. They can spend people one billion naira to buy an SUV truck for a particular senator if matters come to us, so long as it has to do with security. So they don't joke with their security. That's why they cannot move around with anything that is not bulletproof cars. And lastly, um, about the 
about the man that was struck, the herbalist that was struck um, by a police commissioner because he was trying to defraud him. You see, that is to tell you that also, to my previous point, if they want to catch these rogues and criminals and end insecurity, banditry and all the rest of them, they can do it. Can. So he was actually tracked because it had to do with the um, commissioner of police. It was his own personal case and matter and security. So he had to take care of it. So he went to the extent of tracking this guy and fishing him out. So why can't you use the same resources for the Nigerian masses that have been kidnapped? Track these kidnappers or whoever, bandits or whatever, Boko Haram members or anything. Track them, get them, bring them to justice and execute them. You know? But once it has to do with the masses, they will use those... Um, those resources and for what has to is even yet to, to, to defraud him or like <laughs> exactly the moment that one here that uh, ah, I'm, this one is like police officer he hung up yeah so they tracked yeah. him they grabbed him <laughs> and he confessed that that's what they do it's all fake fake you are so is right that... these guys could actually help people or uh, yeah and remember we keep reminding the people that the nigerian uh constabulary called that turned to the nigeria police today the colonial yeah. constabulary yeah. wasn't set up to provide security for the people from the world go. They were set up oh. to provide security for the regime, whatever regime. Exactly. I, I, I actually that, believe uh, that. The Nigerian police is not your police. No, no. So and they are not your friend. do this or do that. And they, they are not your friend. They keep telling they people are not your police friend is your friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are not your friend. You're right. You're right. The police is, uh, for, the, for me, the police and the military, they Work hand in hand with the establishment, but Mike, what do you know? What even uh, bothers me sometimes is that yes. this police and this military they are made up of young people yeah. because it is the old ones, like from 40, 50, 60, that gives orders from the office. Now, it is the young people that are, that are out there in the field, and they feel this hardship that the people feel. I mean, their take home salary cannot even take them home, they are being paid peanuts. And yet they put their life in danger, they risk their life to protect these thieves in office. How about we have a protest where the police and army will guide us and even escort us into the National Assembly? Can't there be can, that kind of you know, ideology have, within them? Uh, Ferdinand, but but you, is that they face the people and start shooting them, the people that are protesting, even for their own good? Let me because tell you the enters, Before yeah. you go, right? Let me tell you this. It is yeah. going to happen. There's one thing, and it's not one person, okay? Like about two or three of uh, these uh, uniform guys in Nigeria. Yeah. There is this uh, belief that, you know, they are only ordered. So it doesn't matter who you make the leader of Nigeria or president. They are only to obey the order, okay? Yeah. But accordingly, right, they, mm -hmm. they wish that the people be able to choose right and if they don't if they choose and they got uh, swindled this guy said they wish this is now me giving back to you what some of them are saying or among themselves do you know mm -hmm. what they said they wish that when nigerians uh, go out for that protest they don't mm -hmm. stop because mm -hmm. right they said they said part of the training they give to them is that number one when nigerians say they want to go and protest okay Mm. Uh, give them uh, two, three days. Most of them won't be interested anymore. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, then, the fact that they will see soldiers, weapons, and the rest of that will discourage half of them. That's the training they give them. Yeah, so those yeah, are now it's stubborn. true. Who waits? Yeah. Shoot some tear gas, shoot one or two, three of them, the rest of yeah. them will run away. And they will we'll run away, yeah. And it all makes sense. I, I said, believe that. That I has believe always that. been happening. Yes. Like it is like yes. there's a manual that they give to them and say, hey, don't worry yourself, okay? What happened is this. When you go out there, um, you know what? You will shoot shoot three people or four people here. Yeah. yeah. Go to that next place and then I shoot five people. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. I arrest as many people as you can in this place as it, well. It, it, all of it, them exactly. will start they won't come back. Exactly, exactly. That's and my it has been happening. And to add to your to, to, to what you just so said, what, another thing, just another you thing. Said, they right? So this guy now said they are always wishing, some of them are wishing to prove their leaders wrong. That means oh. they will shoot tear gas, they will shoot guns, but instead of all of you running away, you are supposed yeah. to come back. Now, if you keep okay. coming back, there are many of yeah. them that will stop shooting. 
They will say, we yeah. can't shoot again. We cannot shoot again. Yeah, we can't, we can't kill everybody. Yes. Do you understand yes. now? So, well, yeah. they said... Yeah, they except those terrorist ones, ones, so and except those scatter. terrorist ones, so uh -huh. except those terrorist ones that uh -huh. they recruited, or those repentant ones, they will shoot. Them. And now they will shoot, and some people will catch them and kill them. You don't know. The, those those ones we shoot, and I'm, I'm my, see, when you over when you overpower them, when it's like having 10, 15,000 people to start with, right? 10, 15,000 people yeah. on the street, and then you have these uh, twenty soldiers. So well, maybe four, five of them decided to be like damn boroba. Ka -ka -ka -ka. Mm. People started running. Hey, hey, hey. Then they regroup again and they will lead them. They will kill them. Yeah. If the number exactly. is right, that because the number is the problem. Yeah. Because they themselves they are also scared of numbers. You yes, know, no. when you see this large large crowd of people, how yes, many no. people can you shoot? How many bullets do you have? You and another thing they missed. Do. And then before you know it, right, they surround you. Before you exactly. know it, you are in the middle. Yeah. And before you exactly. know it, they started stoning you. Where you are exactly. trying to cock your gun, stone hits you for head, you you lose uh -huh. conscious. They grab you. Really? They grab yeah. another one. You go see some exactly. of them running with their guns. No be so. Sure now. Sure it is now. The sure number now. that we don't have, and we must yeah. have that number. We will. Yeah. Number. Yeah. Someday. Someday it will. Someday it will happen. Exactly. Thank you very much, Mayego. Let me just stop there. Thank you very much for the good work you're you doing. So Please much, remain man. consistent and do not let anybody try to like um buy you um by getting close to you or pretending.